Former Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Attorney Salvador Panelo has something to say regarding the government's decision to revive peace talks with the communist terrorist group CBPNP and DF. Hannah Jane Sancho will give us the details. Sabi ko nga kanina, Jesus Mario Sep. <laughs> Yan po ay isang kabalbalan, kabulas to ganyan na tayo ay magigipag-usap na muli dito sa mga rebelding komunista. Tandaan po ninyo, sa panahon ng dating Presidente Duterte, sinubukan natin yan. At gaya na sinabi mo kanina, pati mga nasa kaliwa ay nilagay niya sa posisyon, sa cabinet. Pero bigo ang nangyari habang kinakausap natin sila sa peace talks. Aba, inaccelerate nila yung pagsalakay sa ating mga sundalo, mga pulis, Lalo silang nag-expand, pinalakas nila. Kaya nung makita ng dating Presidente Duterte yun, tinigil niya. Mm. This is what former Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, Attorney Salvador Panel disclosed in his program, Problema Nyo Itawag Kay Panelo on SM9, regarding the government's decision to resume peace talks with the communist terrorist group CPP, NPA, NDF. Panelo said he cannot fathom the need for the resumption of peace talks when the government has not failed in its fight against communist terrorism. In fact, the government has been successful in dismantling the terrorist organization that for over five decades has committed numerous heinous crimes against thousands of Filipinos in the country. Panalo emphasized that the creation of the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict, or NTF LCAC, played a key role in bringing government programs to areas that used to be strongholds of communists. Ngayon, nung tayo ilumiga ng NTF LCAC, nakita natin kung gano katagumpay yung ginawa ng programa ng gobyerno, kung saan pinasok natin yung mga lugar na malalak sila kasi nga, yung pong progress, yung pagunlad, hindi nakakarating sa kanila at pinarating natin. Kaya unti-unting nawala na sila ng dahilan upang labanan ng gobyerno. Kaya ang dami nang sumusuko sa kanila. Attorney Panelo also believes that reviving peace talks with CPP, NPA, and NDF is dangerous. Dino mo, pag-uusapan nila, natanggalin, talistahan ang mga repenting komunista na maging uh, terorista. Eh, yan eh. Alam naman natin na talagang mga terorista sila kung paano nila pinapatahin mm -hmm. ang mga kababayan natin, paano nila nila ambush, paano nila nila ampun mga pamilya, pinapatay mga sundalit, mga pulis, paano sila naging ikil ng revolutionary ta at kung paano rin sila nagsusunog doon sa mga ayaw magbayad. Ba't hindi masyado ang uh, ginagawa nila? Hindi hmm. kailangan ng peace talk. Delikado yan. The former Presidential Legal Council also questioned as to why peace talks with CPP, NPA, and DF should resume. He also raised concerns about the people who are pushing for such dangerous negotiations, calling them secret enemies of the country. Hindi ko maintindihan kung sino nagpapakulo niyan. Ang sino man pong nasa likod ng continued o pagbabalik ng peace talks, eh ito'y mga lihim na kalaban ng bansa. Hindi ito makabayan. Tinutulungan nila. It can be noted that the Presidential Advisor on Peace Reconciliation and Unity Secretary Carlito Galvez declared that the Philippine government and the National Democratic Front signed a joint statement in Oslo, Norway, agreeing to engage in peace talks to end decades of armed struggle. The National Democratic Front of the Philippines bared its demands before assuming peace talks with the Philippine government, participation of detained NDFP consultants in negotiations, immunity for NDFP members participating in peace talks, release of all political prisoners, and the removal of NDFP from the terrorist designation. The Anti-Terrorism Council designated the National Democratic Front as a terrorist organization on June 23, 2021, which resulted in the freezing the organization's bank accounts and other financial assets. The Duterte administration initially revived the peace talks, but later put an end to it due to the continued recruitment activities of the terrorist group. For God in my beloved country, the Philippines, this has been Hannah Jane Sancho. 
SMNI News.